Softball 605. We're here with Alex Roth and Abby Schultz of the Sioux Falls Diamonds Extreme Team. Just got done wrapping up the championship game here at the USSA Early Bird Tournament. Did you have a good time? I did, yeah. Now, you guys did really well, you know, got into the championship, kind of ran out of time, but you really guys, you seem like you were really starting to get into the game when the clock ran out. Yeah, I think we worked well as a team the whole game, and the time wasn't really on our side at the end, but, you know, we came back and fought hard. Yeah. Now, what were you hoping to get out of this tournament this weekend, Alex? Um, for me, I was hoping to do good at for personally and as a team and get out there again because this was our first tournament this season and I was just really excited to get back on the field. Yeah, it's a long winter sometimes, isn't it? Very. <laughs> so how old were you when you started playing, Alex? Um, both me and Abby were five years old when we started playing together and we've been playing ever since together. You've um, been playing together all that time? Yeah, yeah, our dads have always been our coaches. So. Oh wow, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so does it ever, ever come a time when it's like, okay, I don't want you to be my coach right now, I want you to be my dad? They're really good at that. Um, usually on the field, they are the coach and we don't, like, we don't picture them as our dads. They coach us just as much as the other team. They sit, they sit us as much as the other players and everything. They give us equal playing time. So Abby, have you ever found that sometimes you get held to a higher standard? Um, sometimes. I don't, it depends. Um, he's really good though of asking me if he wants me to be my dad right now or my coach and I'll tell him I want you to be my coach right now and he'll help me and encourage me and if I say I want my dad you know he'll also encourage me and you know you'll do great next time and you did well yeah. That's really good to, to recognize that there's, there's those different roles isn't it? Yeah. So now you guys uh, both play for Roosevelt as well? Yes. Now do you think that the, the summer ball that you play the competitive has a big impact on your high school softball? Um, I think it does. Uh, we play with a lot of the same girls mm -hmm. on our team as um, Roosevelt and um, some of the other girls are playing for Flash right now so it's kind of cool you know to watch each other's games and kind of grow together. It is kind of one big community isn't it? Yeah it is. We all play together and we all love the same thing and we yeah. we just love softball so we encourage each other on and off the field. You just show up in different color uniforms sometimes. <laughs> yes. So what's your favorite part about softball? I really like batting, but being in the field and having your cheer team cheer you on and even on the bench, like having your team have your back, it's like a big family, and I love that. What's your favorite part? I would probably say fielding, too. It's just when you make an amazing catch, like Alex said, it's great to hear all your fans and your teammates cheer you on. And yeah. And that, that sense of personal accomplishment? Yeah. Do you think that youth sports are important for that, to, to help people get a, a sense of accomplishment? Yeah, I think so too. It gives them the competitiveness th to use throughout life. Mm -hmm. And I think it is found, like I found it pleasing and helpful to me throughout like school work. It keeps me going. Like That's I get to go play softball. And yeah, it's helpful. Now, um, do you also find that being a student athlete, you have to learn to take better care of your time? Yeah, time management is a huge thing. Um, practice after school, so when you come home from school, if you have, a, if you know you have a lot of homework, um, get some of it done before practice, and then after school or after practice, and get some more done, and then yeah, get a good night's rest. It really does make a difference. And do you think that will help prepare you for college life? Most definitely. We college life is busy, and everything's going on at once. But now we know how to time management and how sports affects that, and so I think it will help us a lot. So I'm assuming you both would like to play college softball? Yeah, I, I think it would be really fun having that another team behind you. How about you, Abby? Yeah, if we get the opportunity, it would be fun. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations on a great turnout, a great first outing in the, the season at the tournament, ladies. And we're looking forward to watching you throughout the season and in the high school season. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.